Good morning, everyone. Hope you're going to have a good day today. Today, we're going to make homemade blue cheese dressing. This is a recipe that was my mother's, and I grew up eating this dressing as long as I can remember, and I'm a big fan of blue cheese. Some of you may not be, but those that are, they're truly blue cheese lovers. So this is what's left of a jar of mayonnaise. Actually, I didn't really have this much mayonnaise left. I had to add to it from a new jar. I took the label off simply because I wanted you to see what was, uh, how much was left in there. It's approximately a third of a jar, maybe a little less. But there's a third of a jar of mayonnaise in here. And into that, it's just so simple and so much better than what you buy in a bottle. So into that, before we add anything, we're going to add a teaspoon of garlic powder. Let me make sure this is a teaspoon. I can't really read these things very well. What is this? That's a half a tablespoon. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, one teaspoon. I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of garlic powder in there. Powder, not salt. You're not going to add any salt at all to this recipe. All right, you're going to add a teaspoon of black pepper also. And you're going to add a teaspoon of onion powder. You know, I'd say add onions, but I think they would hurt the longevity of this dressing. It'll stay good for a few months in your refrigerator. Plenty of time to eat it all, for certain. All right, now, before we do anything else, you're going to mix that up. And this is a plastic um, mayonnaise jar, and most of them are plastic these days, but I always use a spatula just in case. I want to get this mixed real well before I add anything else. Oh, I forgot my... Now, I like a little zest. I've told you that. I'm a spicy person, but I'm not going to add a whole lot. This is just a tiny bit of cayenne pepper. This says red pepper, but it's really cayenne. And this is an eighth of a teaspoon right here. So I'm going to add that in there too. If you don't want the extra little kick to it, don't add it. But, you know, it's so little. I don't think it's going to hurt a thing. Actually, most of it ended up on my spatula. I hate that. All right. Got all this mixed in. The reason you're doing this is because it's easier. If you get your things, your spices and what all incorporated first before you start adding a bunch of stuff, including a liquid. You know, liquids... You think it's going to make it easier, but when you get so much liquid in there, then you're defeating the purpose, I think. Now, right in here, this is um, actually a four-ounce container of blue cheese. And that goes in next. Let me move this little spatula out of the way here for the time being. I usually just... Um, bend the container because it is plastic, a flexible plastic, and I start getting it in there just like that. Get it all in. And I spilled a little bit. I'm not going to worry about these small crumbs. Then what's your next step? It's to mix it in. Because we're not going to add any liquid till we get all this mixed. And 
you know, you want the lumps in there, so try not to get all of them out while you're mixing. Just continue to mix like that. Not squeezing the lumps or anything because it's all going to incorporate. <clears throat> now this mayonnaise, I don't know how my mother came up with this recipe. Honestly, I don't. She was just such a good cook. I, I honestly... I have to praise her cooking because she branched out a long way from her Italian roots and everything she did was spot on. I can't explain it. But she did come up with this one day and we all loved it. Alright, the next thing that's going to go in is buttermilk. Now, uh, you can use whole or you can use low fat. If you don't have buttermilk, use fresh milk. Don't fill this up all the way. Use fresh milk and add um, a, a cap full of uh, vinegar or lemon juice to it. And it'll sour up a little bit on you, which is what you want. but I'm using buttermilk. So we're going to continue to stir this up and get it all mixed in. Now the amount of buttermilk that you put in will determine how thick your your dressing is. So don't fill it up all the way actually. I may have added too much but I don't think so. You just stir it. Keep stirring it so you get the all the mayo and spices incorporated into the entire mixture. Let's see here. Let me get a little something and clean my mess up that I've made. I don't want it on my jar. Yeah, you know, it's, it's with this, you know, I, I love Hellman's but they've about outpriced themselves for me. I just don't enjoy spending almost $6 a jar for Hellman's mayonnaise as much as I love it. It's my favorite. But when you're making blue cheese dressing, you don't have to go for that high-priced mayonnaise. You can just use, you know, an inexpensive brand because you're going to put spices and blue cheese and buttermilk and all of that in here and it's gonna help. It's not gonna show that it's an inexpensive mayonnaise. It's not gonna let anybody know. Alright, I may have this incorporated. Now, the ideal thing, <coughs> there I go making a mess again, the ideal thing would be to let this marry. Like, put it in the fridge and, <clears throat> excuse me, let it marry um, a few hours or overnight. But you can use it right away. It doesn't have to marry overnight. I'm not losing that little treasure. Let me put it back in. Wipe off my jar again. And that's it, folks. It's done. It's done and it's delicious. I'm going to give it a little taste here. I'm not going to put it on a salad because it's still morning here. But by this afternoon, this this will be perfect. It doesn't have to sit all night. But you know you have to keep this in the fridge. You can't keep it out. Keep it in the fridge. And... Uh, It'll be good for a couple months, maybe even longer. All right, here's my little tester here. Let me get my spatula out of here. I'm going to scrape it clean because some of the blue cheese clung to it. Don't want to lose that. All right.
lady. I didn't set anything out to...